I worked for MariaDB Corporation. So, in the legacy altar, how the altars are going to be ha is currently handled is so whenever we execute the altar on a mas master or source, it will be executed uh, executed fully on the master first. Once the execution completed, then only it will be written to the bin logs and it will be flown to relay logs and it applied on the slave and again it will be executed on the slave through the sl slave SQL thread. So, during that that period we we are we are we are we may face the the replication SQL thread will block the replication for that time. So, during the time we we will be facing the replication lag and delay in the replication. So, when you have multiple slaves, multiple replica for your master, you will be facing you will be facing a replication lag for uh, on most of your most of your replicas. You don't get the uh, real time data. So to avoid this, current in current situation, we are mostly using lots of tools like uh, PTO, Percona online schema change, and then um, even GitHub. GitHub has one tool called uh, G Ghost G H O S T. And the Facebook also has its own tool. There are multiple tools available in in the community. So, like like always, MariaDB comes up with some innovative method to solve this issue, to handle this and uh, reduce the replication lag. So, how how MariaDB is trying to solve this is so whenever we start execute whenever we we start executing an alter table on a on a source. It will be divided into two, 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 two bin log. In the bin log events, it will be divided into two steps. So, like how we handle the XA transactions, like XA prepare and XA commit or rollback. So, how we handle the that in the replication, the same method we are we are implementing here. So, yeah, every every alter has a two events like start alter. And then a commit commit or rollback alter command in the bin logs. So when the alter is started executed on, executed on the master, immediately when immediately there is a start alter event written to the binary logs and sent to the slave at the same time. So in the slave in the slave the the requirement in the replica is you need to have a parallel replication. So once once your event was sent to sent to the replica immediately there is one more sql thread which applies start uh, start executing the start alter start alter command so so it won't block the replication for that time once the once the alter is completed on the master master side there will be a event called commit alter will be sent to will be logged in bin log and sent to Sent to the replica. So you may, so once the commit alter is uh, commit alter is received on the replica, immediately the commit alter command will be applied, and then the table structure will be changed in the replica. Until that time, you cannot see the table structural changes in replica until you receive a commit. In case if your alter fails, you will you will get a rollback rollback uh, rollback event on the bin log. And the the uh, the alter command will be rolled back on the replica. So uh, on on the next few slides, I am going to see the implementation details, how it was implemented in MariaDB. So for this, we 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 have a variable called bin log alter two phase, which which was introduced in introduced from MariaDB 10.8.1 onwards. So in the master end, we just need to set this variable before running the alter. So, so once we set this variable and execute the alter on the master, master doesn't master the behavior on the alter on ma on the master does not have any changes. Only in the bin log we can able to see the start start alter or commit alter events. So once once the once the alter got a lock and started executing, immediately the 
for example, this is one of the event for a successful alter and commit in the MariaDB. So immediately the bin log will get a start alter, start alter command, start alter event on the bin log. That will be sent to master, and in the master, this this alter will will started executing without uh, blocking the SQL threads. So those who are not familiar with the GTAD implementation in MariaDB, the GTAD implementation in MariaDB is a little bit different. We use we use go we use domain ID and then server ID and then sequence. These three variable which you are seeing like GTAD one dash thousand dash seven eight four. So one is the uh, one is the domain ID, thousand is the server ID, seven eight four is the sequence. So for the start alter, for the start alter, you will get the event with the GTAD plus start alter in the bin logs. And then the the real alter command will be logged in the binary logs. When you get a commit commit alter commit alter, you in the same binary logs you will get the you will get a new GTAD sequence as well as you will see you will see the ID for which which sequence it needs to apply. For example, in this case, you can see the above the GTAD sequence is seven eight four. So in the commit alter, you can able to see. The commit alter ID equal to seven eight four. This means this uh, this commit is for uh, the event which was executed for seven eight four. So once once the commit uh, once the commit commit event was executed on the binary log, then only you can able to see the changed table structure on on the replicas. So what happens in between the uh, when the in when when you are executing the alter command on the master, you cancel the you cancel the or if it got failed, what will happen on, on that case? There will be a rollback event. So in this case, the star you will get a start alter command and it will uh, it will started a uh, started the alter on the slaves. So once you receive a signal from a master like it's it got failed or it got cancelled due to some reason. Immediately in the master binary logs, you will get a rollback event. So that rollback event will be sent to slave, and that alter will be rolled back. So this all this all steps will be done in the background without no without knowing to the users. So this is the implementation steps for um, uh, lag free alters in MariaDB currently. Currently, it is it started with 10.8, so still it is it is in the development uh, development stage. So still there are lots of improvements or suggestions from the community is always welcome. And then, like uh, um, already Daniel mentioned about this, the MariaDB bin log current from 10.8 onwards. Is the MariaDB bin log is aware about the GTADs, so the start position, stop position options are already available in MariaDB bin log utility. But uh, previously we can able to we can able to pass the lock positions in this variables, but now onwards you can able to pass the GTADs for a start position and a stop positions, as well as you can the MariaDB bin log utility is more aware of the GTAD strict mode as well. So when you are applying applying your binary logs on any other server, you can still enable your uh, enable the GTAD strict mode as well as, and then if you use uh, the verbose the three V symbol, you will get a warning for out of order transactions. So which we usually encounter when the replica replica there is some writes happened on replica. And then the, when the script strict mode is enabled, usually replication broken, replication breaks with this error out of order sequence. And then there are few features about MariaDB comparing with the MySQL. What what are what makes different MariaDB? So we have an audit plugin. And then the system versioning table, which uh, which Daniel already showed. And we have a Oracle compatibility mode as well, so you can still create your procedures, 
store procedures, functions, triggers uh, similar to Oracle, Oracle syntaxes and then spider storage engine which is which is very useful when you look for some sharding. You can shard your shared your tables using the spider storage engine and then sequence sequence is also one of the uh, one of the options available in mariadb not in mysql and then the hot backup like maria backup maria backup is a fork of uh, perconos extra backup so these are the few additional features available on mariadb compared to mysql that's it for me. Thank you. So, any questions? Uh, sorry, any questions? Okay, uh, so a couple of them. Um, I will start. Okay. Hi. Uh, can you elaborate a little bit more about the spider storage engine? Like, you know, for example, what? Um, how do you partition? Is it based on hash? Is it based on some other, you know, methods? Yeah, you can. You can choose your uh, partitioning method. Yeah, custom. So I have a quick question. Um, so with this with this two phase um, ultra table that you have, it seems like you're moving away from this MySQL ato and Oracle Atomic DDL. Um, does this mean that there's effort trying to support transactional DDL over the case where you could maybe have multiple DDLs and even DMLs that could get rolled back together? Or do you see that never happening? It's just a, a uh, question of your opinion. Yeah, I understand. Uh, transactional DDLs? No. For now, I think even we in, the, in our community, there is one MDO. Yeah, I think it's a little bit too far off. <laughs> Um, you know, it's a step to make things um, uh, smoother, as the case may be. But yeah, it's it's a big effort, and I, I, you know, how it's implemented in Postgres and 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 that kind of thing, and, and the tuples. But yeah, it's, so it, it's a big effort. This is the beginning for uh, implementing transactional DDLs. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, my question: If you start a alter tr transaction on on the master in a two phase thing. And the master just totally gets killed, um, and you restart it. Uh, does that mean the slave thread continues on, and it's just waiting for a commit that never happens? Yeah, that is that is one, that is the current behavior. Yeah. So you just need to manually kill off the yeah. thread in the slave. So it 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 endlessly wait for the commit. Okay. Uh, next question. Are there any more? Um, so I had one more question that I had written down. Um, I noticed in your diagram you had um, the fact that um, before this change, uh, you'd run the alter table. It would run on the um, would run on the source, uh, and then it would run on the replica, um, and it would block replication. Does that mean that alter tables are logically replicated? That that you don't have some sort of physical replication of them, or um, I mean, you get just what? It's a, it's a uh, so it is a statement. Okay, yeah, that, that was yeah, my question. Yeah, it is a statement. Whatever you execute on, the DDLs are replicated as a statement based. In okay. The, in MariaDB and MySQL. Okay. All right. Cool. Right. Okay. I, I was just curious. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, any other questions? Is there a way to like pause and resume the alter operation? No, for now, no. There is no way. <laughs> All right. Any other questions? Well, in that case, I want to thank you very much. Thank Interesting you. presentation, and uh, enjoy it very much. <laughs>